What's up YouTube? This is your boy Chris and I just wanted to give you a quick review of my HJC Isis Max 2 uh, solid helmet. Uh, this helmet is fully modular. At the time I purchased this helmet, I was in the market for a modular helmet that would allow me to mount a uh, GoPro camera uh, in the center. But as I looked around, I found out that these uh, uh, full face uh, modular helmets are egg shaped in the front and most of them uh, your GoPro mounts are not going to fit directly center. Uh, this helmet does have a mouth vent in the front which most of them uh, have mouth vents in the front but I chose this helmet for three reasons. One, the helmet was fully modular. Uh, for two, uh, my Gold Wing is a, uh, a red and this is close to the red as I could find it. Uh, which this HJC is a wine color and I also chose it because it had uh, flat mounts in the front which is not directly in the center but directly on the side so um, that is the three reasons why I chose this helmet the main reason is because of the flat mounts on the side as you can see my GoPro camera uh, mounts directly uh, on the side which is almost dead center as you could get it um, let me remove the GoPro uh, housing so as you can see um, you have a mount here and a mount here um, it's hard to tell but it's actually this helmet is actually flat on the side so I just mounted two flat uh, GoPro mounts uh, which they mounted pretty good uh, on the side it's been holding uh, without a problem uh, you can take your GoPro curve mount and you can mount it on the top or on the side. But for me, um, around the center of the mouth was going to be the best place uh, for me that I wanted to mount uh, my GoPro camera. Again, this, this helmet is fully modular. On the bottom here, it has a, uh, a button. Uh, when you press this button here on the bottom... Well, it actually lifts up. It's not a press. It's a lift out kind of button. And the helmet um, opens the front. Uh, it does not come with a, uh, a cheek pad. Uh, the cheek pad is sold separately. So um, I just wanted you guys to know the cheek pad is sold separ separately. Uh, on this helmet, you have a front vent that allows air through on the front it has a switch here on the front for easy access that allows air through uh, on the back of the helmet uh, it lets air out so it comes through the front and pushes out uh, in those hot uh, days when you're riding your bike uh, and uh, the helmet is also DOT approved um, it's M FMVSS certified so it is DOT approved um, let's go back to the front of the helmet. Um, it has a drop down sun visor also. So on the top of the helmet, uh, you can, it has a drop down sun visor, uh, which is also a plus. So, uh, when the sun is out bright, you can let your sun visor down. Um, and if you want to just press the button on the top and it lets the sun visor up and that sun visor is also, uh, replaceable so you if you break it for some reason or you want to put a clear uh, in there I don't know why somebody would want to put a clear drop down but uh, you can actually replace that housing um, but I must say uh, with this HJC helmet it is the most comfortable uh, one of the most comfortable uh, helmets that I own uh, uh, at the time I purchased it I had no idea on how it was going to feel um, so I took a chance and just purchased it, like I said, for three reasons, the color, um, the, uh, the modular style and the, uh, the flat mounts. Um, but I must say it is one of the comfortable helmets, uh, that I ride with. Uh, it's actually my favorite helmet that I ride with. Um, I mounted the, uh, the Cena 20 S here on the side. Uh, again, you do have a recess, uh, on the sides where you can mount your speakers. Uh, the 20S mounts up perfectly on it. Uh, again, I must say that this is a comfortable uh, modular helmet. Um, 
as you can see my 20s is mounted up on the side here's the microphone um, and one thing I do like about this 20s is that uh, when I'm riding on my motorcycle you cannot even tell that I'm on the phone I mean I can run at speeds up to 75 uh, if I'm in a speed uh, of 80 or whatever speed I'm running, regardless of how fast I'm drive, uh, riding my motorcycle, you cannot tell that I'm on the, uh, on the uh, telephone because of this uh, advanced active uh, noise cancellation uh, microphone that this, uh, the Cena uh, 20S has. So the Cena SMH10 is a great uh, Bluetooth headset. Uh, I know some guys that have the SMH5, which is also a great headset. But this Cena 20S uh, takes your uh, Bluetooth to another level. Uh, just to give you a couple of quick things that it does, it has AM, uh, it has FM stereo, so you can actually uh, listen to an FM uh, stereo uh, while you're riding your motorcycle. Uh, this 20S has a app connected to your uh, your phone so when you open your app you can either program you can preset your uh, FM channels that you want to listen to or either you can just scan it uh, without the phone app so with the phone app uh, it, it has directions in case you forget how to use it uh, it shows you your FM channels um, it gives you a lot of different features uh, with the app that connects to your telephone but this Cena 20s you can listen to uh, MP3 music that's Bluetooth to your uh, telephone. Um, you can Bluetooth it to the uh, the Cena uh, Bluetooth audio pack. Um, you can tap it to uh, actually give it uh, directions. Um, you have a, a big jog dial here um, forward to uh, turn up the volume or to turn down the volume and back to turn up the volume. And one thing I like about this a Bluetooth headset that if I want to make a telephone call, I just press one button and I'll hear a message in my helmet uh, asking me what I like to do. I'll say uh, dial home and it'll dial home and I never have to touch my telephone. Uh, I love this uh, Cena 20S. I can't even imagine riding a motorcycle without it anymore. I mean, the SMH10 is a great uh, Bluetooth headset. Uh, I have no problems with the SMH10 made by Cena, but Cena really up the uh, the bar with this 20S. And also, it is so advanced that if I wanted to send a text message, I could just uh, press one button and it'll ask me what I like to do. I'll tell it to send a text message and it'll ask me um, who would I like to send it to. I would tell it who would I like to send it to. I will read out the, the message and it will read the message back to me. And ask me, do I want to send it? And I'll say yes. So I can send text messages. I can make phone calls. I can listen to AM, FM stereo. I can listen to MP3 music. I mean, I cannot even imagine riding a motorcycle without this 20S. I mean, it is such an advanced feature to ride in a motorcycle that um, once you use it, I don't think you would ever want to go back again. But also, too, let me show you this here on my helmet. Um, I generally ride with my tinted uh, sun visor on it. Um, this sun visor is what is the uh, HJC uh, 17 pin lock uh, ready face shield. Uh, this here is a dark smoke. Uh, so to supplement my drop down face shield, uh, if the sun is real bright, it works perfectly. Uh, now, but here's the thing. If it's dark, if, if I'm out riding my motorcycle, and it gets dark. Uh, I generally keep a uh, clear uh, HJ17 uh, Penlock uh, ready face shield in my bike. And all I have to do is just uh, take it, lift it all the way up to the highest position. And it just snaps in off the side. Uh, done. Um, it's just that simple. So if it's going to get dark out, I could take off my, my tennis shield and go with this, uh, clear shield. Um, if I want to remove it, I just let it, I just let the uh, face shield all the way up, hit the, uh, release on the sides. Um, 
and it comes right off. It's just that simple. Uh, again, this is the clear HJC, HJ17. Um, but what you actually see here is a, um, a anti-fog uh, screen. And basically, uh, for you guys that wear uh, motorcycle helmets, you know in the uh, when the temperature is cool um, and you uh, blow your breath or start breathing, your face shield fogs up. Well, this tenant visor here uh, is an anti-fog shield, and it's not going to fog up in this area right here. Now, they do have it in a dark smoke, which I have dark smoke on here. Uh, it comes right off. All I have to do is just unlatch it, and it comes off these two pin locks. It's just a, a plastic uh, anti-fog shield. Uh, it comes in dark smoke. It comes in gold, silver, blue, and clear. So... Without this uh, tenant uh, anti-fog shield on, this shield would be just a clear. So to supplement, I just added a light tenant uh, anti-fog shield. But this fog shield does come off. It does come off. So if it's too dark out, I like just take one second and, and just take it off and just mount the, uh, the face shield uh, on the front of my uh, HJC Isis Max uh, 2 helmet. So anyway, I just want to give you guys a quick look at the helmet that I use when I do some of my motor vlogging and a uh, quick look at the Cena 20S, which is a great product, uh, the removable uh, face shields. And at the time I purchased this, I did not know the face shields were removable. Uh, I did find that out later. Again, um, I give this HJC uh, Isis Max helmet uh, five stars. I have no problem with it. Uh, it is a comfortable helmet. It has the flat mounts on the front. It has a uh, mouth vent on the front. Uh, it is fully modular. So anyway, I just want to give you guys a quick look at what I use. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop me some comments down in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. And that's all I have for you guys. And I will talk to you guys later.